Just asking you. I'm asking the question. I, I, Is that what you believe? God the Father. There's no question. What did what? To you it was shown that you might know that the Lord, He is God. There is no other besides Him. As far as your and my salvation... Notice you're adding... Notice wait, wait, you're adding... Wait, 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 you're the one adding. Just very, it. very simple it says, that as far as you and I are concerned... There is there no, no other beside... No, it says there is no other beside Him. There is no other. Uh, 39. Know therefore today and take it to your heart... When you get over there... That the Lord... notice it. That the Lord, you, He is you God... Elohim. You Can I finish? God. The Lord, no, he, is, he is I've God in heaven. I've right. read that more times than but you But you'll notice, sir, yes, that, I don't that need to notice. You'll, you'll notice that, that while I'm, I'm giving you the text of Scripture, yeah. you have to inject words into the text you know, itself. No, you're the one injecting words. No, you words. did, sir. You said that that means pertaining to us on this earth. I, it that's, says, that's who Moses is writing that to. Right, but it's, it, it says, though, that there There's is no, no other besides God. Him. For your and my salvation. Notice you're adding those words. You, no, you no, accuse no, no, me no, of no. perverting the text, sir, and you're adding words into the text. Sir, what do you do, sir, with, with passages in the Bible that clearly display that the Mormon Church teaches a different God and a different gospel than the Bible teaches? What do you do with those texts? Let's, let's just go to one scripture. Love to. Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Okay. Where God said, let us. We're there. And I love it. Let us create man in our image. What's interesting is that you'll find in the are BC... We, are we create? Wait, 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 before you tell me. Okay. Are we creating in His image and likeness? Absolutely. Are we? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And you'll notice that the same person who wrote Genesis was who? Genesis. Moses. Moses. So Moses, who wrote Genesis, writes that God says, let us create man in our image. And yet Moses, throughout the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses, teaches clearly, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Echad. There, hear O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. There is only one God, none before, none after. So you can't be saying that the same person who pens the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses, would contradict what he's saying when there's only one God. But see, well, the first thing, thing is, if you understand who God is, yeah. they are one. And so, one being. You one, believe in one, one in purpose, correct? One, one in purpose. Right. In but, yeah, you and believe in Moses three beings. says that, there is one in one God. Just like my wife and I, we're but one. But you don't believe in... But Joseph clearly taught in history of the church, he says, he says, many men say there's only one God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are only one God. He says, I say that's a strange God anyhow. Three in one, one in three, it's a curious organization. All to be crammed into one God according to sectarianism. that's what you believe. Well, right, but that's what you, you were saying. Well, that's that, what you believe. Well, of course. Well, I exactly. know better. He said it'd be a giant or he'd be a, a giant or a be monster. He's so large, it's full of the universe, it's small dwell in my heart. Yeah. It's wonder we don't bump into him all the time. Right. right. Well, we, ought, key, we ought to be inviting him here. Well, he's already here, sir, right now, speaking to you at the moment, right? Oh, yeah. He is. Yeah, he sure is. Okay, thanks for and listening so, to me. Uh, let us create man in our image. Notice that in the B.C. era, there's no record anywhere of a of a plural spoken of in the royal we sense, like we as in one being, but, well, what, what but it's Father, Son, Holy Spirit in one being of God. I, I've already you, demonstrated to you that there's only one let, God. Let me tell you who that was. Yeah. He tells you right in the scripture. God says, this is Elohim speaking. You know who Elohim is? Well, I believe Elohim is, is an interchangeable, it's synonymous with Lord. God, Lord. Well, but, but you believe, you believe the they're separate. You, you believe, believe in the Trinity. Elohim right. is God the Father. Really? Jeho Jehovah is Lord God is, is Jehovah. So you believe that? You believe, yeah, you believe that Jehovah is Jesus, Elohim is... Is Heavenly Father. That's what you believe? Elo no, Elohim. Jehovah is What do you do with a passage like this? See, Lord here in this passage is Yahweh, Jehovah. Okay? So, and and capital G is Elohim. So let's see if that works. Uh, so you don't understand that I am He. Before me there was no... So this is the Lord. This is, Yah this is Jehovah speaking. You say that's Jesus. He says, before me there was no Elohim formed. Well... What you're reading here... So it says, the human witnesses declares Jehovah. That's what the word Lord is there. And my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am... God, the, God, God the Father be, is be, also Before Lord. me there was no Elohim formed. So this is Jehovah saying there's no Elohim formed before me. Do you see how that doesn't work? It makes a lot more sense in this screw so you, God that you, you believe, got all screwed no, no. up here. Three notice, one deal. notice that the, the conflict it, is with it, your creating his, the creating his image after. If how come I don't turn to water all of a sudden if I create his image and like God's, 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 God's not water. God's not water. I can be anything. You know, do you believe I, what I Jesus just, says? Where Jesus says God is spirit? Oh yes. Do I you believe that Jesus knew what his spirit was? 
I know. He says, spirit, spirit, spirit. You don't know what a spirit he, is. Well, I'll tell you what Jesus says. Jesus says, spirit does not have flesh and bone as you see me have. That's correct. So if God is spirit, according to Jesus, and I think he would know, he says, God is spirit. Spirit does not have flesh and bone as you see me have. So how do, you square, how do you square Jesus' own testimony about what spirit is with Joseph saying that God has a body as tangible as man's? Well, what did he say to... Let's go to the very same scripture you used now. Okay. He says, handle me and see. What's that? He, let, let Sorry, me go, I'm Let me go back to one point. What kind of body was Jesus Christ resurrected with? We're going to see it here tonight. The body he was crucified with. Okay. A body of what? Flesh and bone. Oh, yeah. The Word became flesh. God became flesh. And he was telling them that the right. Spirit wasn't like that. Right. So my if, father, if, if, my, if, so what he if, says is my Jesus father Christ, is not like this. Did Jesus he Christ says, did you, know, I'm, I'm, you're, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. Did Jesus Christ have his body today? Yes. Does God the Father have his body today? The God the Father is not was not once a man. Jesus this is Christ. the difference in our beliefs, is that this is the difference in God. You oh, and I don't you, worship you, the same God. I know it because you don't right. rise all mixed up. No, no, no. It says, and God became flesh and dwelt That's among Jesus us. Christ. Right. But remember when God became flesh, Jesus, he says, he's talking about the Father, he says, God is spirit. Spirit does not have flesh and bone as you see me have. So how do you get the same God in Mormonism who has a body of flesh and bone as tangible as man's with Jesus' as Father who is spirit and does not have flesh and bone? Jesus Christ's Father does have a body of flesh and bone. Where? Where? Where does it say that in the scriptures? I just showed you. Because I mean, you have to help me understand. You have to help me understand. Genesis. Yes. One. Yes. One, six and twenty seven. Yes. Elohim speaking. He says, let us make man in our image after right. our lives. Right. He made a body of flesh and bones for Adam. You believe that, but the problem is, is that image or likeness, what? image or likeness of God, right? But well, wait a minute, you believe that the Holy Spirit is a what? What? The Holy Spirit, does he have a body or does he have a body? He has or? a spirit. Body. spirit. So wait, you were created, okay. So you believe the Holy Spirit has, well, what happened to him though? How come he didn't get a body? Well, I know more about that than you do. I'm, I'm asking for enlightenment. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that you're saved by, by, your, by grace and your works? I am saved. By, it, it, it takes, James tells the answer to that. Go read it. James chapter 2? Yeah. Whoever should keep the whole law and yet stumble on one point is guilty of all. No, he says faith, faith that works is dead. dead. Absolutely. But what kind of faith justifies you before God? And then it all, Real faith, right? And if I have faith, I am justified, declared not guilty. Paul says in Romans 3.28, he says, Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. This church teaches that you're just, you, you are working towards exaltation by, with faith, by grace, through your works to get exaltation to become a god. Correct? You believe you're going to become a god one day? Well, I know that. You do? I do know that. Well, what would you do with God if he told you you can't? Well, I know it, I can. Because if God I says am, I, am I am the first... first if I, I, am, I am his offering, am I not? And since you're made in his image? Well, sure. No, he said, no. Yeah. He says, I am his offering. Right, but do you believe... If I'm in his offering, am I going to turn about to be an elephant? <laughs> no. Well, here's... God already told you he's the first and the last, correct? Well, I'm God. Is he the first I, and the last? I will become like God. Is God the first and the last? I can become like God. Yes I or no? Is, like is, God. is God the first and the last? You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You don't know how he's the first. You don't know how he's the last. He says there's no other God besides him. He says, he says is there a God besides me? Indeed, there is oh, no other God. Many gods. Huh? You don't... You got to, you got to have circumstance. You know where you're starting out. There's three steps to your thing. Well, you're, you're just stating your theology. You're just stating your theology. You're not giving me any time. I you're, just, you're just stating your theology. I'll say one more time. Yeah. If you want to really take some time. You really want to... Love to talk to you. You got my number. You got my way to get a hold of me on this track. I'll, I'll get a hold of you. All right, get a hold of me. You really are sincere. Uh -huh. You really want to know. How about you? Are you? I am. Are you? I am. So... If you were shown in God's word that no, your belief about God is wrong and that your gospel is, is in conflict with scripture, would you reject it? If, if you showed me and the Holy Ghost bore witness to me, then I might listen to Fair you. Fair enough. Fair enough. But there's one thing you got to remember. Yeah. God will never witness that two and two is five. It's always be four. Okay. And that's what you're, uh, to we're, we're going we're gonna to be right on with that. Very Thank sure. You. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Have a good night. Have a good night.